Hey, I'm Satora Phil. Welcome back to my channel. So I know I haven't made a video in about two weeks. I was actually on vacation in Asia, which is this haul where I got all of these things. So I'm gonna go through the items pretty quickly. It's in no particular order, but I think I'm starting with the smaller things first, and then I'll get to the larger items, which are more or less in the shopping bags behind. So this one is just a shirt that I got in Hong Kong. I thought it was kind of cool. It caught my eye when I saw it on the rack. It was in one of those MTR malls, so like the the metro malls, which in Hong Kong there's tons of. Basically almost all of the main uh, train stations have a mall in them or attached to it. So this is a kind of like an Oxford style dress shirt. It's white, so just because of the lighting here, it's a little bit overexposed. And what I really like about it is the back. I just thought it looked cool and it really popped and it kind of had a varsity kind of a feel to it. I think they only sell this in Hong Kong or Asia or China. The company is called Adlib, and this is from their Popeye collection. It seems like this is properly licensed, so it's not like one of those knockoffs. This actually came with a free uh, spinach can, but I forgot where I put it. Um, and this one was Hong Kong dollars 589, which was slightly below 100. I think it was like 70 or 80 dollars. So I'm not going to try anything on really in this video, but I might do a later one with some of the items I'll try on. And the next item that I got is from the Erdem and H&M collaboration. I wasn't here to get it in the States. This collection, like the key pieces sold out pretty quickly because I tried to check online while I was overseas and I was hoping I could maybe shop on the US website and just have it shipped to my house. but. Fortunately, that was all pretty much sold out as well, except for like the socks and scarves. I was able to get this one item. This is like the shearling jacket. It's not actual shearling, it's just acrylic. And they only had one left. I got this in Saigon, in Ho Chi Minh City. And it's pretty much always like 80 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit there. So that's probably why this didn't sell, but this was also the only size left. They had quite a few of those wool jackets left, but those to me just looked pretty plain, like you could get them in other brands, but this one was a bit more interesting. And I tried it on in the store and I thought it fit pretty well. So this one I may do a try on video later, but for now I'm just going to show you so it came with the hanger as well, which is pretty cool. Next few items that I got was from a local store in Vietnam, and I think they have a store in Singapore as well. The brand is called Meti Seco. I believe it's actually like a French brand, but they opened in Vietnam for some reason. Or at least that's, I think that's what the sales associate told me. They specialize in organic and sustainable clothes, so I think all the items I got with cotton are made of organic cotton. I haven't opened this yet, but I've tried it on, and I actually had this altered. So there's an organic cotton care instruction. So this is again another white shirt, so it's going to be a little bit hard to see, but it's a mandarin collar, except unlike the rounded one that you see, it's more angled. And I thought it looked pretty well. It's actually more of an off-white color. It's going to be a little hard to see on camera because I have a close crop, but it's pretty much your standard long sleeve button-up uh, shirt except the collar is different. And this is made in organic cotton. This is extra small, and this is the Vietnamese dong. 
it's two million one hundred and fifty thousand. What I had done was I had because this is like a dress shirt. I had the sleeve shortened, which they did in the shoulder seam. So they were they were able to turn it around in about two hours. So that was good. So I could pick it up in the same day because I wasn't there for that long. I also got a scarf from them. So there's another care card, but this is silk. And this one is not machine washable, so it has to be dry clean. And it wasn't that expensive. This one I think was only 50 or $60 USD and it's a pretty sizable silk scarf and it's an infinity loop. I like the way that you could tie it. There's different ways you can tie it on yourself. So, and I thought it looked cool with the shirt and also the jacket that I'm gonna show you. So that's why I just decided to get it. This jacket I also had altered, of course. Like I said, I always ask, and if it's available, I usually do it as long as it's not crazy expensive or it doesn't take too much time. But in this case, they were all complimentary. So that's, that's another thing. Like a lot of shops, especially when you buy them full price, they will offer basic alterations for free, but you have to ask. A lot of times they might not offer it. So this is like a blazer and again it has a mandarin collar but it's a sharp angle as opposed to a rounded angle. And it came with the garment bag as you saw and pretty much everything else looks like a blazer. The lighting makes this look super blue but it's more like a slate blue color. This is an extra small. This was the last one left, so I had to get the one that was already on the rack. I believe this is also organic cotton, and I really like the style, but unfortunately with like cotton, heavyweight cotton, they tend to wrinkle very easily. So when I wear this, I do know that the sleeves are gonna get pretty wrinkled, but I really like the look. And it wasn't really that expensive either. Again, for like what it is, the craftsmanship and the material. This one is 4360000 So this was just under $200 USD. This item I got at a... It's actually a Japanese store that sells jewelry and they specialize in sterling silver. Almost, I believe almost all their, their stuff is sterling silver. And they also have some turquoise. It's very Indian, like Native American inspired jewelry. And this one, they said it was all the stuff was made in Japan. And it's actually very similar to a style popularized by a Japanese uh, artist. I forget the name, but it's really hard to get his items. And these, I guess, are... I don't know if you call them replicas, but they're they're in that style. But again, this is a legit jewelry house and it's made in sterling silver. So this is a sterling silver feather pendant. They sold chains as well, but I'm just going to use my David Yurman box chain for this. So I bought two. I bought a larger one and a smaller one. Initially, I was thinking of buying three, but it just kind of looked too busy. I tried it on and I like the look of two to have them kind of style like this when I wear it. And then in the back, it has their company stamping and 925, which is sterling silver. I believe both of these was around 250, maybe, or 300 USD somewhere around there for both of these which kind of I feel like is a little bit expensive and this is the logo of the company SAAD I think it's an acronym for their company and you can I'll link some information below you can find them online which shows you their entire um, range of products 
you can see there's a Native American chief head here because all their jewelry is inspired by Native American jewelry with turquoise, um, silver, metalware. So the next three items that I'm going to show are from Shanghai Tang. They're kind of like a mid-range clothing company that's based in China. I got this at the Hong Kong airport actually. So there's a film here and this... The item I got came in this box. The box isn't really that well made unfortunately, but it's technically free because it, it's really just holding the item. But you can see it has very uh, Chinese inspired motifs. So I got a pair of cufflinks and you can see the interior is like lined in a silk like fabric. I'm pretty sure it's not silk, but it has like the dragon. These were kind of expensive for a relatively non-designer brand. So these are a pair of cufflinks, very Asian inspired. They look like jade, but it's they call it gemstone because it's a low quality jade. Otherwise, it would be quite expensive, but these were still around 325 USD dollars because it's sterling silver. So the metal backing and all of this, the interface to go through the buttonholes is all sterling silver. They had ones that weren't, but I just like this style best, and I do did want something that had some sort of precious metal that wasn't just stainless steel. So these are a set of cufflinks by Shanghai Tang. And then the next thing comes in this larger box, and they tied it in um, their ribbon. So I'm going to remove that. And this is like a trinket box. I just really like the detailing on it. And it wasn't too, too expensive. I mean, you can't really compare this quality to like the Hermes lacquered boxes, but it's still really good. Especially the metal work on top. It's all handmade. So they make the metal details and then they, I guess, pour resin over it. But this is in a very pale celadon color and the flowers are white and then all this line work is in a gold metal. This has the same shape that you saw from the cufflink box, except this wasn't free. So this is the actual product. And it's definitely better made. You can see the finish, unlike the cufflink box, is much smoother. The cuffling box, like the bottom part, was metalized plastic, whereas this whole thing feels like it's metal. It's pretty heavy. The inside doesn't have the embroidery pattern, it just has like a padded interior with a pale gray color. And then the bottom is just black felt. They have their logo stamped on it, but it's going to be really hard to see. But I just thought this really looked nice and I'd probably put stuff like maybe rings or keys or stuff like that inside and I'll put it on my dresser or on the console table. This one was about $200 USD. This is the last item that I got from them. It's something that I looked, browsed through their online store and then I went back to ask to see if they had it kind of an impulse purchase I'm not sure if it really if I really should have gotten it but it's clothing and um, I got a garment bag with it as well it's actually a set this is a silk pajama set this is the top and it has the mandarin collar pretty much they're known for since it's a, like an Asian brand they specialize in mandarin collar all their shirts and polos have the mandarin collar and this one has the 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 like coin motif, the ancient Chinese coin motif. And here's the label. The smallest size they make in most of the things are small. And it actually fit me pretty well, but I needed to get the sleeve shortened and I bought this at the airport, so unfortunately they were not able to do that for me. 
so I need to I need to uh, alter it here in the states so it's just a navy blue with white piping but again it has a special mandarin collar and it has the coin jacquard I would say which is a really nice texture this was kind of expensive it is a hundred percent silk and it's washable it's washable silk which is great but for like a set that's made in China and not really technically a luxury brand it's, I thought it was a little bit expensive it was $500 USD once you convert it from Hong Kong dollars it comes with the pants as well and it has a elasticized waist and then it has the white piping down the sides and pockets as well so I'm not sure if I would actually wear this out as an entire set but it's gonna depend on how I style it again with the other clothes I think I'll need to make a video to show you how it looks like on me because I thought I tried it on at the store and I thought it looked pretty cool and I probably might mix it up you know I'll wear the top with jeans or with dress pants and if I do wear them as a set or if I wear them with dress pants I'll definitely be wearing loafers with these because it's a leisurely look this was just something quick I grabbed on my last day in Hong Kong from the monocle shop I pretty much just wanted to visit it just to buy or collect something there wasn't anything I really needed or really wanted there but I just wanted to get the packaging to collect and I just got this zippered pouch they had three sizes this is the medium size I wanted it large enough to fit like my phone and wallet if I wanted to like just carry this um, the three sizes are in different colors I got this one because I don't really have anything that's yellow like this so I just thought it'd be something different this is topo topo designs collaboration with monocle and this is made in the US kind of ironic that I went all the way over to Hong Kong to buy American made goods but this wasn't that expensive it was like $25 USD or something like that so it's just a big pocket inside and then the back is brown so same with the top and it's just like a nylon or polyester material it has a red loop here which you can maybe connect with something and it has two black loops here I'm not sure what you would use that for I guess if you connect it to some sort of strap it, it could be kind of like a belt bag so that was just something small but I got the some I got the shopping bag and the paper sleeve with it and then some postcards as well and then finally these are more of the luxury products of course had to visit Louis Vuitton but there really wasn't a price difference to the US because it's pretty much price controlled when they have to add import tax so if you're not in your in Europe it's pretty much all around the same price these I got in Vietnam and in Singapore and if you're wondering why the packaging is different it's actually their holiday packaging I originally thought it was the leftovers from the masters but it's actually their holiday packaging so they have the flowers here and the gold handles it also comes with the gold glittery ribbon as well again it's for the holiday season this is a relatively new launch or a relaunch I should say so this is a pocket organizer this was 10 million six hundred thousand which was I think it's around four hundred dollars USD so it's pretty much about the same price this is the Utah leather pocket organizer but this style of pocket organizer is different from the other ones even from the epi and the canvas there's no back pocket and when you open it it's just 
six total card slots and a slot here and a slot here. I don't have any Utah leather, so I just thought it'd be nice to collect now that they relaunched it. Um, it's probably not as functional as the one with the back pocket and the slit pocket here, but I think it's a clean design and I'm kind of liking the Utah leather feel. It's kind of like Torreon leather, but it's thinner, I would say. And I'll probably do a comparison of the this compared to the other, the Epi and the Canvas Pocket Organizer styles. So the next item that I got came in this box. And I'll know which one it is when I open it. This is the wool scarf from the Lee collection. So it has these, they're in embroideries but they're actually stuck on so they're not embroidered into the actual scarf they're like embroidered into a thin piece of some sort of interface fabric and then it's it seems like it's probably glued on to the scarf i wanted something from the from the league collection to kind of collect i do think it's cool um, they had a scarf which had these stickers like plastered all over but I don't have any wool scarves from Louis Vuitton knit knit wool scarves I should say so I ended up getting this one instead of the they had the other one which was like my Chapman scarf so those are all the stickers it's just on one side and you have LV and a varsity font so it's pretty simple. That's really the only design is on this side. Um, and then on the other side has the flower and the circular motif. This one I got in Singapore and this one's 100% wool. And the back of the scarf is basically the reverse color. So it's gray with black text. And then the front side is black with gray text. Finally, one more item from Louis Vuitton. This one I got actually from the same store in Vietnam as the pocket organizer. And this is, you might be surprised, this is actually not from the current season, but they still had two Chapman items kind of hidden away and I guess no one bought them. This is the navy blue Chapman Brothers scarf this is from the spring 2017 collection that launched in january of 2017 so if you remember from my my previous paris haul not the one in september but the one in january i had got the white version i really wanted this one but they didn't have any and the one they had on display wasn't available to be sold but they just had the one white one so i ended up getting that i saw this and i tried it on and i really like this Honestly, between the two, I would pick the navy one. I think it just works better for me. But I'm glad that I have both a white scarf and this navy version as well. This is in the exact same size as the white one that I had before. It's just that the illustrations, instead of in color, are all in the blue tone. And the monogram is in white as opposed to blue in my white scarf. And then, of course, the background is in navy. And here is the tag for it, Louis Vuitton. It's a mix of cashmere wool and silk, dry clean only made in Italy, MP2055. And I'll do a try on video of this as well, and I'll compare it with the white version as well. It'd be kind of interesting to see if you actually wear both of them at the same time, what it might look like. I haven't tr tried that yet, but it's probably overkill, but since I have both versions, I might as well just see what it looks like. This is the last item from my haul, but like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, this I'm going to do an unboxing in a part two. Well, for two things, this video is kind of longer than I thought, and I kind of want this to be its own video because this is the single largest purchase I've made, even more expensive than the Cartier Panther ring. But I guess not including my car. I just mean like luxury items. 
so it came in a shopping bag like this i got this in hong kong and it was a in hong kong there's no sales tax so you don't have to worry about detax when you leave the country at the airport because otherwise you have to make sure all your packaging is intact and you usually have to present it to the customs officer when you try to get your form approved like the case like it was a case when i was trying to do the detox for the cartier ring it wouldn't go through the pablo machine because usually anything above 10,000 or 15,000 they have to manually check it and they do they really check it they scrutinize everything the packaging the product if the product looks remotely used it's up to their prerogative if they want to approve your form or not and with something like this a watch you're talking about several thousand dollars lost if you don't get your customs form approved I'm gonna show the unboxing in part two which will be coming very soon if you want to know when it drops definitely subscribe to my channel and check me out on Instagram as well I have more up-to-date content there and I've been posting things even while I was on vacation whereas like I was saying in YouTube, I had missed this last two weeks, even though I'm usually on schedule and I post videos at least one every week. I had forgotten to edit some and schedule it to be released while I was on vacation, so there was a two-week gap. Anyway, I hope to see you in my next video and thank you for watching.